the KX News Storm Team. Well, I'm here to tell you we woke up with a surprise this morning. A little bit of snowfall here across the viewing area, but now things have calmed on down and we are seeing those mostly cloudy skies here in Bismarck. And our current temperatures at the moment are at 36 degrees and the winds are added to east at 8 miles per hour. So it's bringing a little bit of that Canadian air into our area. But looking in Williston, looking like a completely different world with mainly sunny conditions and temperatures are at 50 degrees and winds are out of the south at 15 miles per hour. We are still seeing some of those clouds in our southern tier counties, and but in our southwestern and into our northern, we are seeing those very beautiful skies as we end out the work week here, folks. It's already Friday, and our current temperatures right now are mainly in the 30s, 40s, and a few 50s, including here in Watford City and also near Sydney at 52, along there with Beach at 52 as well. And our winds are are relatively light around 5 to 10 miles per hour giving us a little bit of that sort of winter chill and looking at the next several days we will see the chances of rainfall coming back into the day on Sunday but before that we will see a quiet and cool Saturday along with those clouds decreasing overnight tonight as well and then we're going to be drying things out once again as we head into the day on Monday and into the mid portion of next week now overnight tonight temperatures will drop on down into the 20s and we will see those clouds again decreasing and for our Saturday we will see those mainly sunny to partly cloudy skies with temperatures in the 50s. Now we will be watching this area low pressure here as we head into our Sunday and that is going to be providing us with those really good chances of rain along and east of Highway 83 so that includes Bismarck and Minot but places towards the west looks to be a lot less and I'm about to show you that in just a second. In this area low pressure pressure is going to continue to march its way towards the north and east and that's going to really increase the precipitation here as we head into our Sunday. So that's going to be really good news for those places. But again, the western portion of our viewing area looks to miss out mostly on this rainfall and this is where the drought is worse as well. So hopefully any last minute sort of shift in this pattern towards the north and west would be nice, but in our eastern portions of the viewing area, it looks like a tenth to a quarter to even near a half an inch of rainfall is possible with locally higher totals. Now here in Williston, we will see a slight chance of rain for our Sunday. And don't forget to turn your clocks back Saturday night into our Sunday as well. Extra hours sleep, I'm ready for that. And we will see those temperatures in the 50s Monday into Tuesday. And we will see temperatures drop down into the 30s on Wednesday. And we'll be watching that very closely here. But here in Dickinson, we will see that small chance of rain for Sunday. And then we will see those mainly sunny to partly cloudy skies lasting into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we will see breezy winds as well during this time period. And in Minot, we will see those higher chances of rain for our Sunday. And we will see temperatures in the 50s over the next few days. And then we'll see a slight dip on Wednesday. And then we're going to climb back up into the day on Thursday and our Friday. And once we enter into Bismarck, that's where the greatest chance of rain will occur with temperatures in the 50s by the time we get into our Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, we will see those conditions conditions remaining on the quiet side after we pass the rain on Sunday and then we will see a weak cold front move through Tuesday night to Wednesday dropping temperatures down into the 40s on Wednesday and then we will see those conditions improve as we head into our Thursday and Friday of next week. So Joel, it looks like some rainfall is finally coming into the viewing area once again this weekend. But talking about that too, which one is your least favorite clock to turn back? Um, as far as in your house, I would yeah, say, give me the one that you said. Oh, no, not this one. Um, I would have to say the wall clocks, you know, you, the have, wall to, clock? you okay. have to get them off the nail and then you got to, you know, get it all Might adjusted. A little, little you step know? ladder. Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what about the one on the microwave? You get the microwave. Okay. Well, I really don't change the microwave. You one don't change the microwave clock. <sighs> How are you going to know what time it is in the kitchen? Oh well, my I got goodness. My oven clock. You're going to be lost. You're going to be late for work. That's <laughs> terrible, Andre. Thank you so much and stay with us coming up next.